Well, well, look what we have here. An Amala and Toka. A cryptid that is actually quite rare on this arc. But you wanna know what? This is not just any Amala and Toka. It's a level 204, aka max level. This is ridiculous and I think we're gonna tame this in today's episode. But guys, first of all, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Arc Additional Adventures. Woo! Okay, that was a fail. But yeah, so in the last episode, we tamed this beautiful, beautiful uh, Phosphato Draco. And this dude can sneeze salt. Gesundheit for that, my friend. And yeah, uh, in today's episode, we, I think we're going to tame that thing. It's a Emala and Toka. Luckily, I already brought some taming traps. I had no idea this thing was here, honestly. I was just flying around to maybe find, like, a, a, a... Yeah, a crew. I couldn't agree more. Um, I was actually flying around here to, like, find, I don't know, anything. Like, even a Giga Titan of opposite gender. I think then we need to find a male, if I'm not wrong. Okay, you're gonna stay over there. Uh, should I lure you into that part of the jungle or over here? I think... Yeah, I don't want to take any risk because down there is like a max level uh, Acrocanthosaurus. And I don't really want to take any risk, so let me just destroy some of these trees. Fly all the way over here. Is there anything bad? Is there... What is that? Oh, it's a shelly, but it's a blue shelly as well. Interesting. So, I know that you can't... that Amala can't do anything. It's, it's just a brutal physical powerhouse so yeah i don't need to worry about anything uh let me just do it like that i hope you can fit yeah no 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 you can fit through these gates i'm pretty sure you can and he's running somewhere else okay i'm pretty he, he definitely fits through these gates there's no other way all right uh Oh, and guys, don't forget, if you enjoy this video at any point, please do make your trailer and smack that like button. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit that bell. Alright? Alright. Damn, been wrong, are giants. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, you know... Okay, yeah, he's, he was definitely attacking those uh, uh, parasols over there. Dude, follow me. Exactly. Oh, damn, you deal... Good damage, actually, not gonna lie. And now he's attacking that tech parasol. You're known as... Dude, you're known as the uh, mammal-hating reptile, not the robot-hating dinosaur. <laughs> Bro, where are you going? I'm here. i just give him some time. There we go. And still not. Come on. I don't want to take any risk. I don't want you to fall down there. B buddy, come back. What? what? Wait, what? Bro, where are you going? Over here. Come on. You just got to turn. You just got to attack me. There we go. What's that so difficult? Oh no, don't tell- oh wait, he, he can, alright. Okay, there we go. And thanks for this leg spike, Arc. alright. Okay, I only needed two gates, nice. I definitely need to get rid of that shell ecotherm, otherwise it will get too close. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I upgraded all of my trank darts into the improved trank darts and they deal a little, a little bit more torpor damage, but they, um, they, they're not influenced by ultra stacks apparently. Let's see, how much torpor damage do I actually deal to you? Okay. Oh yeah, right. Uh, since it's like a trike-like creature... Okay, no, you don't take reduced damage to the face. So, this is the very first cryptid that we're gonna tame, apparently. I was honestly ex expecting something else, like a Chupacabra or something, but like an Amala and Toka, I mean, why not? Oh wait, Ima Emila, Emila and to I think I said Emala, right? It's called Emila and Toka. God damn it! <laughs> now I feel stupid. Great, but yeah, I, sh I definitely should have enough trank darts, and it eats meat, as you can see, or giant bee honey. But I don't. Ha oh wait, I have giant bee honey, but at my base, and I don't really want to fly back right now.
Damn, that, that will definitely take a little while, so, uh, guys, you know what, I'm gonna see you later when this thing is fully knocked out. Alright, there we go, it's finally knocked out, I already removed the structures and I was actually flying around here, like to those really, really damn big trees over there to see if there's some bee beehive, uh, some bee honey. But sadly there was not a single beehive, but yeah. Uh, also, by the way, I named the uh, Phosphato Draco Salty Quits. This name suggestion came from Sharko, someone on my Discord. By the way, link is down in the description. You can check it out if you want to. Let me just grab this. Oh yeah, and by the way, he just reached... He, he is so low on health, um, because over there was a Herrerasaurus. And apparently, they you know deal like very nasty custom uh, Venom debuff that stacks up to like 10 times or something. And lasts for like 40 seconds. And yeah, this is uh, pretty nasty. Uh, Alright, you are pretty hungry, so let me just put that in your inventory. Yeah, okay, come on, you get a decent amount of level still. Plus 101. And there we go! Uh, let me just get rid of this. Trick all. Damn. Honestly, this is a this is a tall creature, by the way. This is not a dinosaur. Okay, this is not... I know it looks like a Sterechosaurus or something, but it's not. It's a cryptid. And I will explain it to you later what a cryptid actually is as soon as we're back at the base. Should I... Nah, you know what? Let's not go back to base. Let's let's like go into the uh, kind of arctic, kind of snowy uh, arctic area near the, I believe it was the blue obelisk. Yeah, the blue obelisk. Um, because there are usually a bunch of mammals. Because this thing deals some more damage towards mammals. But oh no, wait, I, I have to go back to base because I need the saddle, right? Uh, uh, im, ma, uh, what was your name again? Damn it, this... Yeah, Amy. Okay, uh, let me see. Imalan Toka. Emila. Still, Imilan Toka. Alright, yeah, I need to go back to base for that. Uh, let me then just put you in a cryopod. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you have a name suggestion for this beautiful lady over here, just write it down in the comment section below or on my Discord server. If you haven't joined already, just join. And we're back, guys. So as you can see, we are in this giant... Thanks for that, Survivor. In this giant grassland over here. And the Amala can also sit, which is amazing. Also, we, have, we, have, we already have a decent amount of creatures that can sit down, actually, in our collection. But I still love it when creatures can sit down, not gonna lie. So, um, yeah. The... The mammals should spawn somewhere around there. And honestly, just a Malatoka is not even that slow. I wish you could, he could spot, uh, turn on the spot, but I mean, that might be a little bit too much. So, in terms of attacks, let me let me like, get a better angle. Uh, like this. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So, in terms of attacks, we have left click, which is a normal bite and it harvests berries. And I think meat as well. We have right click, which is a horn attack. And then C is a foot stomp. I think X is just a normal emote. And then we also have control. Which is a raw. And I think that's about it. You don't have Q, you don't have... No, that's about it. So, if we look at the stats, the stats are actually pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, this was a 180. And yeah, so I also wanted to explain what a cryptid is, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted to do that. Um, so a cryptid is not a mythical, not a mythical creature like a wyvern or dragon or a a griffin, for an example. A that's good damage. A cryptid essentially is a creature that has been that apparently might live in our modern day world. A creature that apparently has been spotted multiple times through footage, through sightings of various people. Etc. Etc. A very good example is Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, for an example. You know, those are not mythical creatures, those are cryptids. And Amala here is essentially a cryptid from Africa. And the tribes over there described it as a giant rhinoceros with a weird crest on its head, a long reptile-like tail. And it was always responsible for dead elephants. It always killed elephants all the time. And this is why it got the name, the Mammal-Hating Reptile. 
So this is essentially it. Man, I honestly thought I would have to explain way more, but... Oh, that was about it. Alright, now I have to get over there. Uh, I guess just walk up the hill, right? Damn, I, I really like the speed of these guys, and this is not even imprinted. But yeah, and, and I think with Amala, like, later a scientist or a paleont paleontologist actually was trying to draw this thing, and he essentially draw drew something around this. I am not 100% sure how the, the story of Amala was again, but it was similar with that, that it was spotted in Africa and all that. So, now this is a mammal. We did around 225 damage with the right click. So, yeah, you can already see this is a huge damage increase. Damn. Okay, yeah. Like, you can clearly see, it, it's it's just so ridiculous towards mammals. And this is why it's so ridiculous good against the Megapithecus. Honestly, if you play with Paranoia, because this thing comes from Paranoia, if you play with Paranoia, get yourself an army of... Amalas and fight against the big monkey. Yeah, and there we now a deal. Don't do, we don't do that much damage towards dinosaurs, honestly. But yeah, X doesn't do anything. It's literally just an emote. Come here. And this is why, like. Uh, with Amala, you always have to look at two sides. How much damage does it deal towards dinosaurs and how much towards mammals? Uh, because now, when I level it up, I'm just going to give it one point in here. And it, damn, that's a good amount of points, actually. I'm just going to give it one point in here. Damn. All right, now let me see. How much damage do I deal to you? That's a decent increase, actually. Not even going to lie. That's a pretty decent increase. But also, um, Imala deals increased damage towards stuff like the Brute uh, Mega Megaloceros, and... Damn. You move a little bit m more than off than usually. These guys are not tameable, but when I kill them, I get uh, some pretty nice stuff, like... Uh, I think it was some... Essentially some sort of custom biotoxin that doesn't spoil and is a little bit stronger. I remember that you are ho over here, right? Oh damn, we have some Aenodons, let's go. Wait, why am I dealing? Okay, probably because of the pack bonus. Yeah, there we go, much better. Uh, I'm not trusting this thing. You are friendly, right? Should be friendly. Uh, you more than likely should be friendly. Alright, let's just pump a bunch of points to damage. I want to see how much damage I can deal to some mammals. We have so much metal over here, holy. Uh, no, those are dinosaurs, but still I'm going to attack them. This is some pretty good damage to non-mammals, honestly. Come on, die already. But yeah, this is some pretty decent damage. Even against dinosaurs, like, this is not even imprinted. <laughs> I need to get an imprint of one of these guys. In general, I need to start imprinting some creatures. Alright. And by the way, this buff, uh, Cryptid Tamed, you have tamed a Cryptid there real after all, so this doesn't really do anything as much as I, as far as I remember, they don't, this buff doesn't really do much, or in general anything. I think it's just there. <laughs> uh, but I could be wrong, of course. Alright, where are the mammoths? Where are the mammoths? Probably up the hill or something. There we go, time for some bigger stuff. Time for some more XP. Come on, you're a slow swimmer, you know that. Okay, okay, this is... Re this is... <sighs> Alright, this is a lot of damage, not gonna lie. Come on, ah, direwolves.
<laughs> God, I, I, I love Amala and Toka. Emila, it's still Emila, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, was that the was that the only mammoth over here or what? Oh no wait, there's a woolly rhino, let's go after that. I see like in general the speed, the stamina, the uh, ability to run like that, it, it, it's an overall pretty good mount. Right, how much damage? Yep. Okay, it doesn't verify from mammal to mammal. It's literally the same to any mammal, unless they have armor or something. Alright. Yeah, it's interesting how empty this area over here actually is. And we get another mammoth. Hopefully that's not the only one, but it kind of looks like it. But yeah, I would always recommend these guys against the Megapithecus boss, not gonna lie. And against some of the Brutes. Hey, some more mammals, let's go. <laughs> Damn, the, the damage alone is just ridiculous towards them. Alright, there's a wooly rhino over there. Yeah, this empty, th this area is pretty, pretty empty actually. Oh, hey, there's a Rex. Let's let's fight against that. Stop healing from the corpse, buddy. So like this, this right here is already a pretty, st a pretty strong and solid creature. Uh, what was that? Oh, a Lake Van monster that is about to die. All right. And that was the uh, uh, pack, uh, the pack of wolves, <laughs> the wolf pack. Damn, I probably need to get myself a day on as well at one point. Okay, what what kind of Okay, uh a Lake Van monster just chilling in there and a high level Rosotis. Interesting. Alright, you get five more levels, let me pump that in here. This is already a pretty nice mount, not gonna lie. I can already tell. I'll go only. I'll use this thing for so many more things than just fighting. Traveling is also really nice in this guy. But yeah, guys, I'll guess this is the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please do me a huge favor and smack that like button. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit the bell. Have an absolutely amazing and beautiful day, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.